Hi, Leo. This is all about you because this is your weekly oracle and tarot, tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. For your week ahead energies, Leo, sun, moon, rising sign, anywhere Leo affects your natal chart, you can take these energies and apply them. Leo, let's get right into your oracle card reading. Um, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, I'll let you know when one's going to happen so they don't interrupt a message. All right, guys? Let's start with your oracle card reading. We'll do a full oracle card spread. And then there's also an extended, if you choose to purchase it, there's a link below for a full tarot card spread that extends the reading, articulates the reading, and romance reading. Yeah, okay, Leo, let's get into this. Leo, energies for the... I think I, I felt like a card just came out. Leo energies for the week ahead. Leo energies for the week ahead. Tend to the small things, Leo. Um, something in the details. I don't know if the devil's in the details, but something's in the details. Tend to the small things, Leo. And it feels like, oh, it's not even just like the small things as in like details as in dollars and cents or crossing the T's and dotting the I's. It's in the intuitive things. It's in the spiritual communications. It's in the angel numbers and the signs and the symbology and the totems that come into your life. If a deer walks in front of you across the street or you're thinking of a song in your head and then it comes on the radio or your dreams, the small things are the things that you would normally overlook and not notice. And no, it's not because it's things that you would normally overlook and not notice. You're going to notice this week. It's going to be a highly intuitive and spiritual week for you. And so that's the way messages are going to be coming into you. Now, normally this, you, you may be, you may think beyond this or, or you may not see these things and that's how you're going to know. That's what I'm saying is, is the normally you wouldn't, but suddenly you're going to notice these things. You're going to be like, wow, I haven't heard that song in a really long time. And it, normally that maybe that thought wouldn't have popped into your head or crap. I haven't seen that kind of car on the road for the longest time. Normally, maybe you wouldn't notice these things. The normal would have been like, there would never have been a pause to notice, but all of a sudden you're going to be. And that tells me a lot this week. It tells me that you are sort of intuitively tuned into messages that are coming into you spiritually or subjectively suggestively and you need to so what's the message that's interesting leo leo mm. so, you can't make this up spirit has a plan okay leos if you are on a platform that allows for commercials i am going to sneak one in right here i will be back in 30 seconds Thank you, Leah, for coming back. Or, you know, maybe, Leos, you didn't have to, but thank you anyway, because that's actually a contri contribution to the channel when you watch the video, so um, when you watch the commercial. So thank you so much. Remember what I said? I said, where is the communication coming from? I said, what, what does it mean? What is it saying? Spirit has a plan. That's what it is. This could be very much so this week, a, a sort of awakening for you sort of a coming out of the dark or getting in tune with things that you normally hadn't been in tune with before. It's almost like a switch has been flipped and suddenly you're, you are understanding things in a capacity that you have not before. Suddenly someone turned your sixth sense on. That's what's going on. And spirit has this plan all along. It's like it tapped you on the shoulder and said, Hey, you, you need to start listening. You, you need to start listening to me in a different way because I have a purpose for you. So Leo, what is your purpose? And what is the plan? That's really interesting. Spirit has a plan when he comes out. When Koala comes out, it's about higher perspective because Koala sees things from above. They see the whole picture. So it could very well be that um, you were so focused on the small things that you forgot about the larger picture and Spirit is trying to like tap you on the shoulders and make you pay attention to those things that you normally wouldn't pay attention to to bring you back into that higher sense of being. Maybe things were petty things, pe petty things were getting in your way or were clogging your mind, um, taking up a lot of your time, like waste, wasting your energy. 
on looking at petty like material things and these little things were bugging you and pestering you and maybe too much frustration was happening in your life that was distracting you from being happy and being free uh free from free from stress right free from mental exhaustion as well as free from i don't know any sort of like detachment feeling of being detached feeling of being sort of left out there on your own or or not having people who you really connect with like feeling disconnected but not in a good way not like caribbean island disconnect no this is more like feeling like you weren't in touch anymore because because you were being distracted by petty stuff but now it's almost like spirit those spirit messages are turning back on again they're they're their lights are coming, your, the lights are coming back on into your head. Spirit wants you back, Leo. Spirit wants you back. Now, love is all around. You may have been distracted by a love affair that did not work out or by thinking that a love affair was going to work out. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm sorry. Thinking that a love affair was going to work out and it was distracting you at least for, a, for the past week. And now you're seeing that maybe just maybe this love affair was never going to work out and it was not meant to be long term. What it was meant to be was something that was supposed to illuminate you, open up your eyes and help you heal or close out or leave it alone. So it's not that you're not loved. This that is not what the card means. It means that you had it, you had a situation that you had to finish. There was something between you and another person that was not finished and it had to finish up. That's why they had to come back into your life, Leo. It was very important that that reconnection and that last little phase of Mercury retrograde, they came back. They came back because there was stuff that needed to be said and reconciliations that needed to be made. The, either this or it's just a lot of petty BS has been bogging you down and distracting you from your happiness and your true life purpose. Now, you can't make this up. You're showing up in your own reading and that means getting yourself back. Your sense of self is coming through and being solidified again. Your direction is back. Your drive is back. Um, your confidence in who you are and sort of, I feel, I feel a self, a self worth, uh, being refilled and refueled. Uh, but I was going to say not, I was not loneliness, but aloneness, like feeling comfortable in your own power, standing alone. That's what I feel. So it does seem to be like there needed to be this closing out of you and somebody else it had to be done with um you it was just a lot of loud blaring like like chatter all around you that was distracting you from your higher purpose and really that higher purpose is leadership even altruism uh a sense of sharing your ideas and giving other people direction these are all very high functioning leo um, Leo life purpose and I and whatever was happening spirit really needed to get you back to that life purpose because you were being distracted by piddly you know what dream the world into being you definitely have a goal you definitely have your eyes on the prize but if you see very closely in the back of this card that skull so there was something that was haunting you from the past something that was tempting you and or luring you enticing you Leo into uh, looking back into not being so sure, being stuck somehow, almost like a hand reaching up from the grave and making you, making a part of you be stuck with it. And this is, but it never stopped you from dreaming. It never stopped you from keeping your eyes on the prize. But there was a sense of you being a little bit distracted and not fully focused. But guess what? You are fully focused now. This is Taurus energy, Cancerian energy. Basically, it's the energy of, of loyalty, of somebody of, of abundance that you can rely on is now coming to you. And I, and I think that the abundance, that stream of abundance, that main resource that you had been lacking or had been compromised had been you. And there had been this on and off with you with somebody in your life. And it was very, very distracting. I do not know that this is a love relationship, not in a general reading, but there was a sense of you being very caught up in trying to make something work that was insisting on not working. And it was your pride that was sticking, that was sticking you there, that was keeping you there, that was making it want to work. 
a sense of failure was sort of looming in the back of your mind and making you feel like you, you, you didn't want to be a failure at anything. I think that you're waking up and really getting comfortable in who you are and realizing there's no such thing as failure. You, the, the relationship just ended and, and, or the opportunity ended and it was supposed to end. I'm sorry, Leo. Hold on. I apologize for that. Um, you have finally, oh, wow. If, I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see, but you can see these two cards really, really quickly. It's almost like, do you see this skull facing down this lion? Something was haunting you and it was almost like your old self was haunting you. And in dealing and finishing up this relationship or this opportunity and letting it go was letting a part of you close out and letting a part of you finally die and be done. There is a sense of maybe you had old addictions in your past. Maybe you had old tendencies in your past that had brought you down. And those tendencies were almost married to whatever person or, or opportunity that you, you had stuck in your head and you were insisting on trying to make work. But Leo, this is the week where the dead stays dead. And you're like, you know what? I, th that's what it is. It's you realize that it's no longer important to you because it's no longer a part of you. And there's no longer any need for you to keep going back because you don't even want to be that person of your anymore. It's, it's challenging. That past is challenging you to like look at yourself and realize that you're happier now that you've let a certain part of you die. That's really awesome, actually. And the abundance that comes in this week for you in terms of, yes, in terms of actually 3D material resources, but in terms of spirit blessings and peace, a sense of serenity this week is sort of blessing your path because of just an absolute certainty in your life direction and purpose has allowed you to literally fuel up your engines and set your throttle at 300 miles per hour. You have such absolute certainty now that you've let this other part of you go. This is also being surrounded by somebody. There's also, no, I don't think this is a somebody. I think this is a mentality of finding what is your truth and what is your true love. Of finding happiness in what is reliable and what is dependable. You've changed. This is, for a lot of people have been getting this too, just a, 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 lay, a leveling up this week in terms of your mentality. But also it seems, you know, there's more energy that needs to come out for you. You know what, Leo? You very well could be There is an energy of a relationship that is on the horizon for you. And I've actually been feeling it for a couple of weeks. But it's this week that you're going to decide to take a deep dive into this new territory. A committed territory. A territory of, I want to be here and I want to be here for long term. You were undecided for a very long time and it was because you did not want to rest your laurels in this commitment. You did not because, it, because you hadn't let go of that past and what that past situation or circumstance had done to you. And you had to close that out and let it go. And I feel like for at least some of you, somebody from the past came back to try to like, like I said, that zombie arm from the grave, trying to like grab onto you and hold you in the position where it was. And you honestly could have gotten sucked in if it weren't for the serenity that sort of shone through and it made you realize Love doesn't live here for me anymore. I don't live here anymore. This is actually a part of an older part of myself that I don't even like looking at. And it can be dead if I let it be. And, and you really were kind of stuck in this in-between with this new opportunity. I'm not going to say person. You know what the love reading is. Um, it's in the description box. But it's not necessarily a person. It was just this... Where your heart was, what your heart was set on has definitely changed. And you were not ready. 
you really were not ready to take the to take a leap of faith in this new opportunity because the past was holding on to you. But guess what? Mercury has blissfully gone out of retrograde, which is freeing up all that beautiful Jupiter energy that is infusing your sister sign and your trine um, with such a positive, benevolent energy that it's really clearing things up for you and clearing out the muck that was in your own brain. This is the week that you decide to jump into that new opportunity. That new opportunity that was opportunity that was kind of in limbo because you were still angry, hurt, upset, or disappointed in what had happened in the past. Let me turn the, the camera around so that I can review the cards with you. Hold on. Here you go, Leo. Here's your spread. Do you see where the pettiness was kind of crowning your energy? This pettiness of distraction or rats in the walls or mice in the walls getting caught up too much in those little things that were like scurrying in the in your brain and sort of scratching it up. Spirit had a plan. It, it is, is reaching out to you this week, not through the petty, but through the subtle. And that's what I really meant when I said little things, subtle things. Things that you maybe hadn't noticed yourself noticing for a very long time. And now you're seeing that crack coming through. You're seeing and recognizing, you're recognizing that hawk in the sky. You're recognizing that cardinal that suddenly sits on, sits on the railing right outside your door or right outside your window. Um, you're noticing that little lizard that scurries, but it seems to stop and look at you before it continues. You're noticing that shape in the clouds or shape in the sky. You know, you're, you're, you're noticing these things that you have been so distanced from and deprived of almost like there was a block. And that block was that black cloud of what was ever hanging over that did not love you or that didn't really belong to you. That was you or they or both of you were still holding on to something. And it was, look at all this beautiful energy of all this. This is Jupiterian energy of just the gift, the gift from the gods coming to you. It really wants to be yours and help you. And you're just literally diving in deep this week because yes, you are absolutely sure now that your heart will thrive here. You are diving in deep to a situation that you're going to love that was caught in limbo because you were holding on to something from the past. And I'm telling you, this is what I really wanted you to see. Do you see the lion staring at the skull? He is, he is wanting to move away from this lack of love or the clutter or the constant noise in his brain that's keeping him blocked from spirit. But there's one more block here, which is his fear. Fear or holding on to the past, also blocking the abundance. This is the week where the you, the lion, dives in deep and says, no, I'm taking a chance because I am over the past. I am going to dive in deep to your tarot card reading, pull a full tarot spread to extend this reading, and also clarify um, a couple of different things, most specifically this nightingale, and also pull your love reading. So I will see you over on, the extended link is below, I will see you over on Vimeo.